Hey everybody, welcome to the Jada and Stitches show. It's time for a crochet quick fix. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, head on over to the craft table, and let's stitch it up together. Today we're gonna make these adorable miniature keyhole scarf ornaments. These were designed to go along with our mini sweater ornaments. They're part of an outdoor clothing series for ornaments we were making for the Christmas tree this year. We've also got tiny mittens and a tiny hat, and we'll make sure those links are in the description box, as well as included at the end of this video. Now, if you really want your scarf to stand out against your sweater, I recommend making it in a different color than the sweater you're going to place it on. That way, once you've got it sitting on top of the shoulders of your little sweater and because it's a keyhole it gets locked into place it's not going to come off and it'll stand out it'll look really nice and toasty cozy <laughs> you don't need very much yarn for this project i've used a size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn but you can also use a size 5 slightly bulkier chunky weight yarn it'll just make your scarf look a little thicker and toastier about 25 yards or 7 to 10 grams will do that's probably more than enough yarn you need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook we're using is a 4.5 millimeter, also known as a 7 in the US or in the UK. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to take our yarn and make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 6 to begin. Once you have 6 chains, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and we want to make sure we're using the top loops of those chains only. So skip over the first, find this next chain, so that's the second chain from the hook, single crochet into that top loop and you're going to single crochet into each of those top loops all the way across. So at the end of row one you will have five stitches. You're going to have five stitches in each row throughout the build of this little scarf. So that's row one completed. You have five stitches. At the end of every row, you're going to chain one and turn. And in order to get that nice ribbed effect, we're only going to work in the back loops only. The back loop of a stitch is always the loop furthest away from you. So you always skip your turning chain, that's this little guy right here, and you work into the back loop only of the stitch. So that would be what looks like the second stitch away from the hook. So you always skip your turning, loop, turning chain, and you work a single crochet into the back loop only, see, back loop, of every single stitch all the way across. You will still have five single crochet at the end of row two, And because we're working in the back loops, we get this lovely little ridged effect. There it is right there. Chain one turn at the end of every row. This is row three. Always skip your turning chain. Work the back loops only. Back loop is always the furthest loop away from you. Single crochet in each back loop all the way across. And you're going to work seven rows in total of just single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch across. Chain one turn at the end of every row. Every row will still have five stitches in it. It's pretty easy to count your rows once you get going. You can really see that ribbed effect happening. That's because we're working in the back loops only. So at the end of row seven, you can count. So that's that ridge there is the ridge that sits across the edge of row two. So you can go two, four, six, and that last row is number seven. So at the end of row seven, we're gonna chain one and turn. And in row eight, we're going to create our little keyhole. We're going to single crochet into the back loops only of the first two stitches of the row. We're gonna chain one, skip a stitch, and single crochet, so we're skipping this one, we're gonna single crochet into the back loops only of the last two stitches in that row. So we've just made ourselves a tiny little keyhole. That's this little guy right here. You should be able to stick your finger through it. And that is row eight. You still have five stitches. It's just one of them is a chain. Chain one and turn. Always skip your turning chain. 
single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch all the way across what was row 8. And when you get to that little chain in the middle of row 8, make sure you get the back loop only. And that way we won't have an interruption in the little ridged effect. All right, and that was row nine. You should still have five stitches at the end of the row. There's your little keyhole and there's an uninterrupted ridge running right across the top of it. You want to continue now, chain one turn at the end of every row, single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch across, and you're going to work 33 rows in total. And from here on out, it's just single crochet. Single crochet in the back loops only of every stitch, chain one turn at the end of every row, and I'll see you at the end of row 33. At the end of row 33, you should have something that looks like this. You've got all those lovely little ridges, and the whole thing will measure about 23 centimeters long, or 9 inches. You can now snip your yarn. You don't need much tail. And fasten off. Bonus, you don't have to weave in either of your tails because they're going to become part of our fringe. In order to make some fringe for our scarf, we want to cut 10 pieces of yarn that are about as far apart as your baby finger and your index finger if you were to spread them on the table. So they don't have to be very long. That's probably about five inches. And they don't all have to be exact, but once you get one sort of snipped, you can just sort of lay it down and start snipping the rest of them to be about the same size. You want 10 of them in total. We want five of those pieces per side. So you're going to grab your scarf, and it doesn't matter which end you start with. You need your yarn needle for this. I've got, this is the bottom row, so this is the underside of the foundation chains. You're going to take your needle and run it underneath the first stitch or foundation chain at the end of the scarf. Grab a piece of fringe. And just pull that end just so it comes out the other side of your scarf. Pair up the two ends of that piece of yarn so that they're equal. And now we're going to tie a knot. So keeping both ends together, we're going to make a loop and pass both of those ends through the loop. Make sure you have both of those ends sticking through the loop and then you might find it helpful to lay it flat if you can't kind of hold the scarf and the two ends of your fringe at the same time. But you want to hold the ends of your fringe and then just very gently work that knot back towards the edge of your scarf. So nice and easy. You don't want to tighten it up too quickly because you want that knot to finish at the very edge of your scarf. And then once it's close, you can just kind of keep tugging on it. And there you go. So now you've got a nice little knot. Your fringe won't come undone. And you can do the rest of them, one right after the other. So we go take the next stitch, grab a piece of yarn, just grab it so that it comes through the other side, hold both those ends together, make sure they're nice and equal, make a loop and slip both of those ends through it. Make sure they're both through, and then very gently just tug that knot back up against the edge of your scarf. Nice and easy. There. And don't worry if your ends are all a little uneven, because we're going to just trim it up a little bit at the end. Go ahead, add the rest of the ends to that scarf, and then you can flip it over and do the other side. Once you've got your fringe on, both ends, and you've got those nice little knots there, you can trim up the edge of the fringe. So you don't need it to be too, too long. We're going to give it a little haircut. You can run it between your two fingers, and with a pair of scissors, very carefully, just trim in a straight line. There we go. And you want to make the other side about the same. Nice 
nice and easy. Don't snip yourself. <laughs> and there's your little scarf finished. Now we just need to turn it into the little keyhole part. Now we want to turn it into the little keyhole scarf part. So you're going to find row 8 and you're going to find the little keyhole you made. You should still be able to stick your finger through it. Then you're going to take the other side. So without twisting your scarf, you're going to take the end, just pinch the ends together and you're going to pass it through the little keyhole out the other side and you just want to grab all that fringe, pull it out of the way and then you can just gently pull your little scarf through the keyhole. You can make sure that both edges are about the same length and then it's all ready to go on your little hanger and sit on top of the little sweater that you've got. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Warm and cozy. <laughs> really adds a little something to the little miniature uh, sweaters that we made. Oh my gosh, it even looks cute at the back. <laughs> and I really like it when it's in a contrasting color because it shows off the scarf that much more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed making these little mini scarves along with us today. Like I said, we will link the miniature sweater, the miniature hat, this little guy right here, and the miniature mittens on a string that we also made. They'll be linked down below in the description box and they'll also be included at the end of this video. Just click on any one of them that you might want to give a try. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with us today and making these cute little miniature scarves along with us. And we will see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a wonderful week. Bye, everybody.